guys and welcome back to another video and today i'll be reading my first fanfic that's made by somebody else on the channel this is the legacy fanfic made by critsipt if i read that wrong i'm sorry if you didn't know, this is basically what if Naruto was Madara's grandson. It's an amazing what if, and I'm really hyped to read this. However, before the first chapter starts, of course, there's a few things that the author has to say. So... Minato is the son of Madara, of course, but we'll see that in that. But, okay, so the pairings are Naruto, Exinato, no harem. I think multiple wives removes the love and passion of the story, which makes a lot of sense to me. And also, Kakashi X Anko, just awesome, these two. Honestly, pretty unique pair in my opinion, but sounds interesting. So now, the first chapter begins. In a remote location. Sorry, the first chapter is called Legacy, by the way. In a remote location one could only see destruction as the sun was slowly rising it showed two men one standing and one seemingly dead all around the battlefield were weapons craters and apparently a large waterfall no doubt created by the intensity of the fight this place would later be known as the valley of the end the man that was barely standing had neck-length long black hair, black eyes, and was wearing what appeared to be a worn red armor with plates going around the arms and chest for protection. The man was no other than Hashirama Senju, leader of the Senju clan, and Shodaime, Hokage of Konohagakure, no Sato, hidden village among the leaves. Why did it come to this, Madara? Asked Hashirama to himself, overlooking the corpse of his long-term friend. The now identified man lying on the ground had long spiky black hair that almost reached his hip, covering the left part of his face including his left pitch black eye. He also wore the same armor style, lying on the ground with a sword impaled in his chest, was Uchiha Madara, former leader of the Uchiha clan and co-founder of the Leaf Village. I'm sorry, but you chose the wrong path. Goodbye, old friend. May you find peace. In the afterlife, said Hashirama, as he turned to walk away from the long battle he just fought. His head lowered in shame as he couldn't save his friend from his choices. Couple days later, unknown location. Oh, my head, where am I? asked Madara slowly, opening his eyes. He immediately shot up and winced from the pain in his chest. Looking around, he found out he was in a small wooden house. From the looks of it, it was a modest-looking house. Small, probably only one person lived there. Easy there, champ. You got wounded pretty badly, said an unknown female as she approached him. Looking at her, he noticed she had long, smooth blonde hair that reached her waist, blue eyes, 
and an oval face. She was wearing a brown shirt that would easily showed her C-cup breast and dark blue pants, all in an all standing. In front of him was a beautiful young woman smiling at him. Who are you? Where am I? asked Madara, being a bit wary to the female, even though he was still weak from the fight. Well, my name is Namikaze Hanako, and has to where you are. We're in the rice field country near the ocean, said Hanako, featuring a smile, a small smile that didn't go unnoticed by Madara. What happened? How did I get here? Asked an impatient Madara, trying to find out what happened, since his memory was a bit fuzzy. So many questions. Just lie down and relax. You got injured in your last fight and barely made it out. You're lucky that I found you and brought here and held you, healed you. Sorry about that. I'm, so, I'm sorry if I'm misreading some of the words. I sometimes stumble over words. Anyways, there were times I didn't think you would pull through. After all, not many people survive getting a sword through their chest. Now, how about you tell me who you are? Asked Hanako, taking in account that the man was probably a shinobi. I'm the great Uchiha Madara, former leader of the Uchiha clan, co-founder of the Leaf Village, said Madara, with a pride in being a member of the Uchiha clan. About full of ourselves, aren't we? said Hanako, giggling at Madara and getting a glare from him. Are you a shinobi? asked Hanako, with caution, not knowing yet if he could be trusted. Indeed I am. I'm one of the most powerful shinobi in the world, known only to be matched in power by Hashirama Senju, the current Shodaime Hokage of the Leaf, said Madara, spitting the last word with venom. He still hated the Leaf and his clan for not following his leadership and abandoning him to follow a Senju of all people. You still got your ass handed to you, said Hanako, chuckling and going full-blown laughter as Madara was glaring at her and murmuring something about disrespectful and troublesome blondes. Maybe Madara was related to the Naras. Well, I'm going out for some food. Get some rest. It'll take a couple months to get you back to full health said Hanako, as Madara was laying back in the bed, remembering his loss to Hashirama, but chuckling gruffly as he remembered that he got what he was going for. Five years later, Ricefield Country. Many would have thought that Uchiha Madara was a cold person, incapable of love, or caring about another person other than himself. However, this couldn't be far from the truth. In the last five years, a lot has changed, and although Madara wouldn't admit it himself, he has grown very close to Hanako, actually treating her like his wife and even abandoning his plans for revenge against his fellow clan members. Maybe this place... Maybe this is the peace I always chased thought Madara as he watched the love of his life with her head on his chest. In past years, he adopted the life of fisherman, along with Hanako, and left behind all the fights and wars he once fought. Hanako also got to know about Madara and his clan and village that he created along his long life rival and friend Hashirama. 
She got to know about the life of a shinobi and Madara's Keki Genkai, the Sharingan. Who would have thought? Who would have thought that the great Uchiha Madara would simply live a simple life, a civilian life, away from battles? Ironic, as I always. So I always wish to die in the heat of battle at the hands of a powerful enemy, said Madara as he chuckled as he almost died at the hands of Hashirama. If leaving the shinobi life is what it takes to be and make Hanako happy, I will gladly forget about my past and focus in the future, thought Madara as he drifted off to sleep embracing the warmth of her love. Another five years later, Ricefield Country. Another five years have passed and now we could see a happy Madara leaning against a tree, embracing Hanako in his chest. Both glancing at the sea, they could see a four-year-old kid trying to stand in the water. He had spiky blonde hair and the bluest eyes anyone had ever seen. His name was Namikaze Minato, son of Uchiha Madara and Namikaze Hanako. Seeing their son trying and failing to stand in the water, both parents sighed, feeling happy about having a wonderful child and a wonderful partner that loved the other. Although Madara had abandoned his shinobi ways, he decided to train young Minato to defend himself should the need ever arise. Madara also explained to him that he decided to give him her mother's name because the Uchiha were known and feared all over the world. He also explained him and showed him his Sharingan saying that one day he would also wield it and that he should be proud of his heritage a few years a few weeks later mara was currently heading home after going into the into to town to buy groceries on the way home he felt a burst of chakra in the direction of his house. Even though Madara had abandoned being a shinobi, he still kept most of his skills sharp, never knowing when you might need them. Quickly, rushing through the woods, his house came into a view, and he saw a bleeding Hanako and young Minato trying to hold off a couple of rogue Ame shinobi. Without hesitation, he quickly disappeared into, in a burst of speed and stopped just in time to block a sword that would have killed his only son. Activating the Sharingan, he just glared at the four shinobi in front of them. By the looks of them, they were merely chuni level. The Ami Shinobi Seeing the Sharingan glowing in all its power, the leader of the group asked, who, who, who are you? Stuttering after seeing the Sharingan, the shinobi knew too well the power of that Kekigenkai and its clan. I am Madara, Uchiha Madara, said Madara as wind blew the, wear, the hair of his back giving him an aura of power that intimidated even the most powerful enemies. After hearing the name, the Ame Shinobi paled and took a couple of steps back at seeing the man in front of them, the legendary Uchiha Madara, forming, former leader of the Uchiha clan. Without hesitation, Madara activated his Susan no and quickly killed the four Ame Shinobi without remorse. Looking back, he saw that Minato was passed out from Chakra exhaustion 
Approaching his lover, he looked at her eyes, and his hearth filled with remorse for not being there, not being able to protect the one person that mattered the most in this world, the love of his life. Take care of our son, said a wee Conoco, giving one last kiss to her lover. She closed her eyes, never to open them again. Madara just stood frozen, looking at his new, at his now dead wife. In his mind, he was getting flashes of the last ten years of his life. In the last ten years, all he got was happiness, only to get that stolen from him, taking only Taking one last look at his Hanako, he made a decision that would influence the entire world. I was too naive to think this world would last. Too naive to believe the world had changed. Too naive to leave my plans behind. I will lead the world to true peace and happiness. I will honor your memory, Hanako. I will create a world made of love and happiness, and I will make sure that you will stand by my side, thought Madara as he picked his son and jumped into the woods, leaving behind his former home. A month later, Madara and Minato were standing a few miles outside the main gates of Konoha, as Madara looked one final time to Minato. Minato, my son, said Madara, getting Minato's attention. In the last month, Madara trained Minato to the ground, bent on getting his son as strong as possible, so he could keep himself safe. During his month of training, Minato had activated his Sharingan, quite a feat for someone so young. Remember, keep the Uchiha name and bloodline a secret from the village, but never forget your legacy. Even though I dislike the Senju, this village will keep you safe and strong. Never abandon your beliefs and fight for what you hold dear. Only when fighting to protect someone precious, to you, will you show your true strength? I'm sorry to leave you alone, but this is something I must do alone. Speak to the son Daime, and tell him you are an orphan and wish to join Konoha, as he will keep you safe. There may come a time when we will fight each other. Until then, good luck. Said Madara as he started to walk away, leaving his son to a new path. Well, I guess this is it, said Minato, as he walked through the main gates of Konoha, and said to himself, I'll make you proud, Tosan, and I will honor your memory, Kasan. Twenty years later, undisclosed location outside of Konoha, thought out the room, and scream echoed. This scream seemed to belong to a young baby. A baby weighed three kilograms and had spiky blonde hair and a pair of dark blue eyes, pretty much a carbon copy of his father, Minato Namikaze. Congratulations, Kushina-san. It's a beautiful boy said the nurse as she handed the newborn baby to her mother. The woman in the bed could only be described as a redhead beauty, with long, smooth, crimson red hair going all the way to her waist, blue eyes, and an a ample decup breasts adorned, and her well-developed body. She embraced her son for the first time. Hello, Suchi, said Kushina. 
Minato turned to his son and said, Welcome to our family, Naruto. But that's going to be it for today's video and today's chapter. Hope you enjoyed. That was the beginning of the legacy fanfic reading. That was chapter one. And again, I'm sorry if I misread a few words. But I hope you enjoyed nonetheless. And thank you for one and a half thousand subs. See ya.